When making boxes, it can be challenging to get all the pieces exactly where you want them, all aligned with neat flush edges. And there will be these slight gaps, and you'll think if you could just push it a bit, the gap will close up. And instead, everything falls apart like a house of cards. The trick most bookbinders use when things won't stay put is to use some masking tape, painter's tape, to hold the corners in place. I'm sure small commercial binderies routinely make hundreds of boxes using this technique. If you're doing production work, you'll even start reusing the pieces of tape. But even applying these pieces of tape takes a bit of skill. You have to push the tape onto the board to get it to stick, and it's very easy to again push things out of alignment. And if the tape sticks too hard, you end up pulling off bits of board off the surface when you pull the tape off. No big deal as the box will get covered if you don't pull too much material off. I'd noticed that Stepan of iBookbinding had magnetic corner clamps for box making. I love tools, who doesn't? But I don't like tools just for the sake of having a tool. I think a tool has to provide an advantage. Not just a small advantage, a significant advantage. Tools almost always add complication. The complication might be just having to have the tool. If the advantage doesn't far outweigh the complication, then it's not a worthwhile tool. It's actually a hindrance, something to distract you from the task at hand. Could some magnets be any better than some masking tape for making boxes? I resisted the call of this new tool for ages, but when I ordered some corner cutting guides from iBookbinding last year, these corner clamps ended up coming home with them. They've been hanging around the bindery for a few months, and when I had to make some boxes, I decided it was time to give them a go. I had very low expectations of these corner clamps. I've been using the masking tape method for so long it feels part of my being. Even if the magnet clamps are as good as the tape, Swapping would feel like a betrayal of a faithful helper. I almost wanted them to be worse so I could put them behind me. The idea that they'd be so much better to work with that I would give up an old friend was unthinkable. And then I used them and there was a sudden rip in space-time. In an instant I knew my world had suddenly and dramatically changed forever. These upstart magnetic corner clamps are that much better than using tape. How could I not use them from now on when I could? But why are they so good? They apply pressure on both sides of the board over a larger area than your fingers would, and they apply the pressure very uniformly. I put the inside corner piece in place and hold it firm, and then place the outside half of the clamp in position. It quickly snaps closed, holding the two sides of the corner firmly in place. Small adjustments can be made, but the corner is less likely to fold like that house of cards when you do make these small adjustments. My first attempt at using them was with a tray with the walls built up against the edge of the base. The next test was with a tray where the walls are built on top of the base. Instead of placing the inside piece first, I place the outside corner first. You can push the outside corner piece right up against the base, which forces the alignment of the walls perfectly with the edge of the baseboard. I find making trays with the walls built on top of the base the hardest to make. These corner clamps suddenly made it a snap. These clamps had got even better. The verdict is that I love these magnetic corner clamps. You shouldn't let not having a set stop you from making boxes. You can make boxes fine without them. Even a box that's fighting you, you can still use the masking tape method. But these clamps do make it easier and faster to make boxes. I doubt any production environment is going to go out and buy 20 sets of these and they'll continue to use masking tape if they have to. And even in your home bindery, you'll find boxes where you won't have enough corner clamps and you'll still use some masking tape occasionally. I just checked the iBookbinding website and there is a new Mark II version of the clamps. But the sizes look the same. I assume the Mark IIs are even better than the ones I have. 
I have the small double which have an outside arm length of 35mm and a height of 18mm. I think this is a very useful all round size. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you're able and want to, you can support the making of more videos like this through Patreon or with a one-off contribution, and the details are in the description below. If you want to be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button. Until next time, cheerio!